Still not sure I'm getting this right, but I think it's all down to the food. I've got a skinny one in here. I've got one that's had white dots on his tail. I'll post a video of close one of that. Um, something wasn't quite right. I've been feeding beef heart fairly often um, and beef heart in 30 degrees water. I don't think goes, but they seem to like it. And the more experts I talk to, the more they say that they hold their weight better with beef. But the problem with the beef is if any of it escapes them and hides around here and then they eat it, they start to get the parasites and the bacteria and the bad stomachs. They stop eating, they start hiding and they die. Now the person I spoke to doesn't have anything in his tank, it's a bear tank. He doesn't have any of those problems with any of his fish and he's got a lot and that's because the bottom of the tank is clear and any leftovers get eaten by the plex he's got in the tank so there's never a problem with old food getting into a fish and I think that might be my problem so I still need to feed the beef heart because they're saying and it makes sense to me but I keep changing my mind and I don't know what to think, that if you feed granules, how long does it take them to finish some granules? And it takes a long time. He's saying he can't keep the fish maintaining their weight nicely just on granules. So I don't think just granules is correct. If you're gonna feed beef, you have gotta make sure they eat it and none gets left over or you're gonna have problems. Um, so it's tricky so I think the recommended food I'm going to stick to and I'm going to see what happens because at the moment I've got problems um, but they're lessening they're getting better we're getting there this one's still a bit thin but he is eating granules like it's going out of fashion um, they're also eating the beef as well and I, that's why I've got a clear end of a tank so feeding time the pumps go off the food goes in this end it lands down here they eat it the Corridories, the Lemon Tetras, the Rummy Noses, that guy under there, clean up. And none of it gets down this end. I think I might change that wood for something less complicated, but I'll keep the wood in just for the Bristle Nose because he loves it. So the plan is they'll get beef heart, they'll get frozen um, brine shrimp, they'll get granules, obviously all colour free. They'll also get live white worms out of the garage. And the thing I want to try is earthworms. I'm going to get them some earthworms. Um, and so far as I can tell, in terms of parasites and bacteria and all that rubbish, they can eat a worm out of the ground. Um, that's what fish do. They eat insects from wherever they find them. That's not the problem. The problem is rotten food at 30 degrees, which happens fairly quick. It goes off, they eat it. And that's what's causing my issue. So we're gonna find out. So the big test is we're gonna clear a bit more space here. Gonna change that, gonna clump them together. Um, I'm gonna be very careful feeding the beef, make sure it all gets eaten, the pumps will be off, it can't swish around. This lot will get all the little bits all done. Um, and then they're gonna have frozen brine shrimp, they're gonna have the white worms, they're gonna have granules, they're gonna have quite a lot of food. I'm not worried about nitrates because the nitrates don't last long in it, because this lot grows so fast. Um, and obviously we've got them. The nitrates were about 20, they're now about five. I've got no resin going. Um, so that, hopefully, let's see how we go. They're always hungry. I don't know if I'm feeding them enough. Clearly not, looking at that one. But I think I do know I'm gonna feed them the right things. So let's see how it goes. I'll keep you posted, but from what I've learned from the experts, they do need beef to keep their weight on. Granules aren't quite enough. That's what they're saying. It's not what I'm saying. That's what they're telling me. I mean, they do sell beef heart though, but who do we know what to believe in this hobby? I'm going to go with that. Their fish look amazing. My fish don't. So I'm going with that and we will see what happens. I will keep everyone informed what I find out. I'm not saying what you've got to do. I'm not saying how to do it. I'm trying to find out how to do it because everything I read is different. So let's see. I've got a few nice ones in here. 
I've got a few that have got problems as well. So we want none with problems. And let's see if that works. So beef heart, brine shrimp, white worms, earthworms, granules. No mess. All cleaned up. We'll have another look in, I don't know, we'll have to give it a month or so to find out if he's got any fatter, hopefully. Um, and if the odd fish with the eating problem stops. And is that down to old beef heart being eaten and then causing a problem? I'll let you know. Subscribe, comments, suggestions. If you think different, let me know. Can you prove it? I want to see. Let's find out the best way to feed these fish.